All right, this video, we are doing a follow-up to the uh, previous video where I discussed how I am going to be doing CPU crypto mining uh, on Zerg pool using the Ghost Rider algorithm with all of its 24 plus coins to maximize the most profitable coin in that algorithm at any given time. Uh, look at the previous video from what, four or five days ago? I can't remember. But uh, it's been that long since I made the video and I have been solo mining ever since just to see if the juice is worth the squeeze. So look at the previous video, you'll see how I set it up. And I am just doing CPU mining. I used to do GPU mining and all that stuff on Zerg Pole 2 as well and solo mining, the pros and cons. Solo mining, you are setting your rigs up to run in the hopes that you get a block, an entire block rewarded to you of that coin and then you get all the profits you do not share and that's the way i like to play all for me none for you i want to get as much as i can problem is you may not get any blocks right and then you're sitting there burning electricity and you walk away with nothing all right fair it's worth the squeeze it's worth this well it's not the squeeze it's worth the effort Oh, it's worth the effort to give this a try just to say, hey, is nice hash really all that great? Is solo mining where it's at? Is Ghost Rider a better algorithm? Uh, just for reference, Raptorium is part of Ghost Rider BitTorium. Let's go look at it together just to refresh your Mac memories. Ghost Rider, all you do is, uh, oh, all right. We are looking right now at Zerg Pool, my wallet, and this is what I'm mining. So let's go ahead and show you. All you have to do is come over here. Familiar, familiarize yourself with this page. It shows all my rigs right here. I had seven running on them. All were solo money. You can see the command line C equals. I want Bitcoin. Coin is going to be paid out in Bitcoin. I am mining mode solo. Here are the mine coins. MC. You put every coin in that gauss, uh, gauss in that Ghost Rider algorithm. And then Zerg Pool will go out and find the most profitable, and maybe you'll hit a block, and boom. Will you make big bucks? Well, stay tuned, and we'll see if you make big bucks. Woo! All right, you want to see what coins are in the Ghost Rider algorithm. Again, this could be any algorithm. If you have an ASIC, if you have a GPU, you can go find different uh, algorithms to mine. It's all on you. This is, this is one example how to do it. And you, I showed you in the previous video how to set up your command line. And I used, uh, what, XM rig, the latest and greatest version 21 to run on this puppy. Oh, it tells you right here, XM rig 6.21.0. Yeah, so I took the time out of my busy schedule to do this for you guys. <laughs> I'm just curious to see if this is actually useful or not. So you click on Ghost Rider right here. Boom, nothing happened. Why not? There we go. What this shows you is... Uh, 25 coins in the Ghost Rider algorithm, and uh, you put them all in that list on your batch file when you start your miner up, and you say modicle solo. This is a reward you could win right here, or get, whatever, if you're mining solo. You could get 1740 BTCQ. You could get 1500 Subi, and uh, whatever ones you're hitting on, right? If you do hit, you get 1950 uh, Litorium. Boom, and it goes over and shows you the profit accordingly. And this, uh, sometimes if you mouse over on some of these columns, it'll give you the profit in U.S. dollars. So uh, let's see, uh, block. Let's do it again one more time. Negative, won't do it. All right, let's go back to my wallet. Uh, let's go back to the wallet. Come on, Big Daddy. There we go. So over here, you can see I have been mining solo. I have been hitting some blocks. And you can see right here, look, there's the block amount. If you're mining without solo, you're gonna get pen, pen, penance, penance, no. You're gonna get bobbles, you're gonna get little uh, niblets, not much at all. You get, instead of a uh, Latorium, where I got 1,940 Latorium, yummy, 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 you're gonna get 1.25, but you're gonna get them more frequently but will it be enough to add up to one block of 1,940? Uh, I don't know. You can actually go over here and click on the Torium. So it says 1,940 is the um, amount I got. So let's look at that. Latorium 1,940. Click on Latorium. 
boom, it comes over and shows you the reward right here. You guys get that? See how that works? So it was a 19, so 1950, whatever. It's approximate. That's what I got. There's your payment level, transaction fees, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff is right there. Let's go back to my wallet. That's how it works. You can go over and check your amount. And you can see here, it paid out in party. It paid out in solo. And uh, if you get, if you hit, uh, let's say you hit a block mining on one of your rigs. Boom, I hit it at this time. You can go over and see, oh, I hit solo. It'll show your address right here, your, your uh, block hash ID. And say, oh, okay, wow, I actually got nailed. I actually nailed on it. I mean, yeah, right here, you'll see it. The finder. Wait, which one is it? Oh, God. I'm looking for it. I think it's this one, the block hash. Or it's this one. I should know this, but I don't know. It's one of these two. Here it is. Oh, it's this one. So here's the one I hit on. This is your uh, wallet address that hit. So it's under Finder. I'm the one that found the block. It got confirmed. I got me some uh, 1950 of this Latorium and the Ghostwriter algorithm, and that's the block hash. So this is your address right here. If you want to go see if you're the one that hit it and verify it, that's how it works. Each coin has its own amount reward. So that's the thing there. And each one has its own different profitability as well. Let's go look at that. All right, go back to wallet. This is how you learn, guys. You can just start going in, playing around, seeing what works for you. Is there, you know, is there any money in this? Is there fun in it? Now you learn a lot. You're learning all the coins in an algorithm, not just Ghost Rider. I'm doing this because I just have CPUs now. I sold two 6600s on eBay. Probably lowered them too much. My Red Devil and some Hellhound. I probably gave them away less than I should have, but oh well. That's a few hundred bucks in my pocket. Minus uh, those crappy eBay fees. Boo, eBay, eBay, boo. Everyone together. Boo, eBay. All right, let's go back. So I have been mining here. These are my last earnings right here on my address. Woo. I'm down to three now, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to show you what I'm doing a new test. As you mine, it kind of shows you up here what is mining, what workers are mining on which coin. And this will flip around as it changes because it's going to find you the most profitable coin in the algorithm. Pretty cool how it works. So that's a good plus for Zergi Pool. I uh, like it. I like that feature a lot. I didn't know it worked until I tried it. But you got to try things, man. Just don't believe things people tell you. Uh, learn to fish, not just be given a fish, man. Go out and try crap. You're not going to do any damage. This is all pennies anyway. Uh, so we go down. And you can see all the amounts I have hit. I have been hitting blocks in this Ghost Rider algorithm on different coins. Here is the history, guys. Looky, 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 looky. Ooh, wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can go over here and mouse over, and you can kind of see, does this actually equate to anything valuable? Boom. I got 17 cents. Uh, 7.1735, baby. So 17 pennies on that hit. And this one, I got 18 pennies. Uh, and so forth, seven pennies. Oh my God, that's a fraction of a penny. Babacoin bites. Uh, Latorium. Woo. So it looks like, uh, let's see. It looks like GainPro procs is the best. Let's see. That's about, oh, that's 10 cents. This one is 18 cents. So Game procs Ghost Rider algorithm is the most profitable at that time. Let's go look at this one. Point oh, ooh, this one looks good. Ricks looks good. Oh, that's 35 cents. Woo! Big money, baby. Big money. And that's what point zero zero eight. That's what I'm looking at. As you mouse over, you see the value comes up. Right? You get it? You see how that works? So I got a block. A block is a huge chunk of rewards, and that is all I'm getting. It's not much. It is not much at all. It's good. It's kind of sad, actually. Uh, so that is which one? That's so that is the most profitable. There's 35 cents. Boy, R A R H E I X. So there's your log. There's your transaction log on your last earnings. Pretty cool, right? Woo! All right, you can go over here. Here's my earnings summary. You can say, hey, I got some pending. You can click on this column. I mean, that. You can click on this row. It expands, and it's kind of like this, but over here, it's kind of telling you what earnings are being settled up. You got immature and confirmed. Once you get the reward, you got to go through the whole network process confirmation uh, thread 
and say, okay, even though I got this, you know, you got to go get those confirmed on the, uh, on the chain, the blockchain. And once they're uh, confirmed and everyone's happy, you will get your reward in your pennies right here in game pro i'll get 19 cents and our our heix already got i think it already got accounted so it's not going to show in pending yeah it's already in accounting mode meaning it went through the immature phase up here to the exchange phase and then into the accounting phase and in here somewhere i pay a fee to convert those uh baubles into baubles of uh, pennies of bitcoin right right all right, so here's where we're at. You can see what's pending. Mouse over, it gets you your value. It is not much at all, guys. I had six, six, seven rigs solo mining. And after four or five days, you know, up to the maximum sellout, or the minimum sellout, I'm sorry, which is about 60 US dollars, 0 0.0015, that might be, it's around 60, 50 bucks, right? Uh, so I can get a payout once a week on a Sunday, I think. Uh, after this many days, I'm only at $8.83. So let's just say, eh, let's see, a little over, oh, when did I start this? Five bucks, one buck. Eh, you could say, I'm going to say not quite two bucks a day. So that's using Ghost Rider. Solo mining, two bucks. I'm going to say a little under two bucks a day. I was down one day, some idiot downtown, they were doing a pool replacement and they let, of course the utility pools aren't labeled, Everyone has too much work for any union person to do. So the other union guy comes in and cuts all the cables and destroys the AT&T fiber network in my area for like almost, uh, let's see, 14 hours. Yeah, but that PO'd a lot of people, especially if you're doing finances, you're in crypto mining. Ooh, I lost a I lost two bucks, baby. Or you're doing remote work. You kind of got boned by some guy who didn't want to label a utility pool. And I don't know why you would just cut stuff. That's crazy. Don't you want to verify before you start digging and cutting? You know, miss utility, call before you dig. It happens more times than you realize. So here we are. We were about, I'm going to say not quite two bucks a day. All right. That's all well and good. So what did I do? I'm going to now flip off. The other rigs, I'm going to keep three rigs solo mining, right? I think I had more than that. Six, seven, uh, why isn't one showing up? Eight should be solo mining. Six, seven, eight. I have three going back to nice hash and eight. I don't know why eight dropped up. Oh, what did I do here? I'm going to start that back up. I don't know why I must have stopped it for a reason for testing. So I'm going to have three and a half. So five's a little uh, rise in five little engine that could it does mine it doesn't give a great hash but who cares it's out there working so i got three and a half guys rigging it rigging running and uh rig, the rigs running and making uh mining away on solo mode on zerg pole and i got three of these guys running nice hash yeah they're running nice hash remember that guy nice hash is out there running i just started these up and they're getting about 69 cents for three Profitability is still low. With electricity, it's still kind of low, about 49 cents. For me, my electricity cost is 11 cents per kilowatt hour, which is not bad, but not great. Um, during the fake natural gas price crisis back in the, the Kufi times, the natural gas went through the roof because our government seems to want to shut down. All these pipelines in our country, which keeps uh, natural resources cheap oh let's shut everything down yeah go figure yeah you guys have got to watch who you vote for man you guys are destroying our country with these uh, stupid policies so then our our natural gas prices go up it does affect your wallet so that's where i draw the line when it starts affecting my wallet you got to think about what's going on in washington this is not good anyway enough of that crap uh yeah so natural gas went up i was paying 19 cents a kilowatt hour it went back down to 11 cents yeah good times big daddy so we're mining right now on that. Let's go look at my profitability. Yeah, it's about the same. So, well, that's only with three rigs running. So it's almost like this has only been running like an hour, right? So 149 for three rigs. Let's double that three bucks. It's almost like the uh, Monero algorithm is a little more profitable on NiceHash than running 
solo mining nonetheless, getting huge blocks. Luckily, getting huge blocks, but still barely squeezing, not quite, not quite a uh, buck 80 a day off all six and a half rigs, seven rigs, all right, with the Verizon 5 on there, running all day for solo mode. Yeah. And now, uh, if I even went to a non solo mode, it would be pennies too, because you'd just be churning. Oh, I got one. I got two. It's just, it's just penny, fractional pennies. And uh, so it looks like just running this after an hour back on nice hash mode. Uh, nice hash Monero for your CPU rigs. Yeah, there's 223. It went up. So I could be conceivably, if I put these other three rigs on back to nice hash. Uh, I'm going to probably get about five bucks a day, which is a lot better than about 180 today. 180 a day solo mining, which should be giving me a lot more in a bank, but it's not. So I hope this makes sense. You see my little comparison there. We're 16 minutes into this video, trying to show you that solo mining. When I was doing GPU solo mining today, you could run a week or two, not get a hit. Boom! You could actually hit something, and then man, that'd be like 50 bucks. On ETH hash, I think I was mining a GPU. Boom, 50 bucks right in your pocket, gets converted to Bitcoin. You meet the minimum and you get paid out to your wallet right away on your machine, your software wallet, or your hardware wallet, and you are good to go. Those are the good old days. Uh, CPU mining, solo mining, on, right, is that, uh, on Zerg pool, my lord. On Zerg pool, you can do it. Do it for fun, see how it, see how it works. I got eight bucks sitting out here. I don't see the point, and I'm just going to keep it there. I don't see the point in going after that when I can just put these rigs back on and uh, recoup that eight bucks in uh, two and a half days, right? Or maybe three days. Yeah, maybe three days. Depends. It goes up. It goes down. Oh, mining goes sideways. And sometimes as Bitcoin Ben used to say, doesn't do anything at all. Good old Bitcoin Ben. What's he up to? We should give him a call and get him on here and talk to us. Or is he in jail? I have no idea. So you can see what I'm doing. We're still, uh, we're still solo mining. I want to see what these prices are. 17 cents. It's, yeah, it's just not there for me, guys. Unless I'm an idiot and I'm completely missing, missing the big picture. So I'm saying after five days, I've only gotten eight bucks. You know, that doesn't look good to me on this algorithm. So what I'm going to do, having seen what I just seen on the NiceHash dashboard, two bucks, and I put all my rigs back on, I'm going to be about 450 running that's pretty decent per day running back on nice hash and uh yeah yeah let's go with that so there's my little test i ran this hoping i hoping by hitting at first the goal was to hit some blocks and i did you can see the amount pretty cool that's cool my god yay crypto gym you got some blocks you're gonna be a billionaire no uh no <laughs> i just proved the point that you can cpu mine solo and hit blocks, but you're gonna get 17. And like I said, the best case was that R H E I X, which was coming in at a big 35 cents, big daddies. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I mean, if you're nailing out a lot, if you're nailing a lot of blocks at a lot of time, maybe you could surpass the nice hash Monero algorithm, but it's just not there, guys. Don't we have eight bucks after five days? Just just not seeing it. All right. Anyway, that's all I got. That's all I wanted to prove to myself. I was hoping maybe I was, get, man, CPU mining, we have some big bucks. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe if you're going to do solo mining, do Zerg pull, play around with a GPU if you want. Go in like I did with my batch scripts, set up a GPU to run on any algorithm. And uh, if it has multiple coins, all the better. Set all the coins up and maybe you'll hit a decent block on uh, one, with your GPU mining all the coins maybe it's more profitable than cpu mining which it probably maybe is i don't know i am not sure i don't want to i'm not going to take the effort because gpus make more heat uh make more noise they make more dirt they suck in dust bunnies like you wouldn't believe they burn more electricity and yeah i'm just not into it anymore with the gpu stuff uh yeah if you're into that that's your thing good i was going to do asics but now nah, i don't want to spend the money they wanted to, they wanted you to pay in freaking Side, side note, I wanted to buy some of these ASICs. They were shipping from Hong Kong or overseas or some Europe, whatever. They wanted you to pay an Ethereum or something like that, crypto. I'm going, no, 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 no. Wait, I'm going to order overseas and to hope you're going to ship me something. I send you crypto. 
I have no way to recoup that or do a customer complaint if you send me a brick. You know, it's all crap. So watch that. I want to use a Visa card or an Amex and say, whoa, whoa, whoa. These guys sent me, uh, you know, a turd and uh, I want my money back. I want consumer protection. So you got to watch that when you buy ASICs and crap like that. Make sure you're buying from a reputable vendor you can use a credit card with. Yeah, you got to be careful, man. Scams are everywhere. It's gone crazy. Scams are, e assume everything is a scam and then you'll be all right. And then like, I, what did Reagan say? Trust, but verify. No, 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 no. Doubt and then verify and then maybe trust. You cannot be too careful these days. Uh, yeah, I'm just giving you that. That's from, uh, that is from my personal experience. Don't believe anything. So there we are. I don't think it's worth it. Crypto mining. CPU solo mode on Zerg pull. It's fun. I could let this rip for another, my God, at this pace, it'd be a month and I'd make 30 bucks or something. I don't know. Or maybe, yeah. Oh, I'll probably barely make, uh, let's see, eight times 10, 10 times. I want to break, make the breakout. I would barely meet the minimum, if that, if I let this rip for a month. I don't want to wait two months on electricity in my CPUs to be getting nothing. All right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's go back and look at this one more time. 235, again, I turn those other rigs on. I'm, I'm popping at five, big daddies. I like those numbers. So hope this helps you guys. Hope it makes sense. Uh, go forth and let me know. You do the experiment too. And if someone has some GPUs and want, wants to do that, let me know if you're solo mining and if you're hitting on them or if you're CPU mining something else and you're hitting bigger than what I am on Ghost Rider. Wow. I would like to know that. And we always do the little check before we bug on out of here. We got Bitcoin at 43,000. Oh, right on the 43,000. And the old Fidelity Bitcoin is hovering about 37, 38 bucks. Uh, I bought it at 41. I'm an idiot. I should have waited a day. Because <laughs> again, you buy the rumor and you sell the news. You don't wait and buy the news. Oh, dear God. That's what happens. You go down. It's only a couple bucks. I'm not too worried about it. Not as ticked off as I am about Tesla. I don't know what Musk is doing. Tesla's down 30% for me. What a turd. I'm not going to realize the loss just yet. I'm going to hold on to it and, and see if I can recoup some of that loss. And man, what a dumb move. I thought it was going to do well, but I think the interest in EVs is done. It's over. Uh, people, it's just a pain. The cars don't charge in the winter. Teslas are probably the best of the breed, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, there we go. I don't want to get on EV subject anymore. We are back. We are going to do um, action items for Crypto Jim. Action items for Crypto Jim are to go to ZergPool and say that was worth a nice little test to make a video for, the, for my brothers out there who are trying to figure this crypto mining crap out. And uh, I did it for you, put all the rigs on, gave you all the information you needed to know. You now can go out and do better than me. Let me know if you do better than me. I would, I'm, I'm here make learning myself. You know, I went to public school. I'm not the brightest uh, to pay, uh, potato. <laughs> I'm not the brightest potato in the bunch. So uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do? Action items. Turn these rigs off. The rigs are going to go back to running on nice ash and see if I can get that up to five bucks a day. And that is not bad. Five bucks a day is uh, not much of anything. Um, I don't know what you can buy. For, you can can you buy anything for five bucks a day? Let me know what you can buy for five bucks a day. Put, put it in the comments. My God, you can't even, I don't eat fast food, but I think a Big Mac is 20 bucks now, right? Happy Meals are 18 bucks because they make you pay uh, minimum wages like 50 bucks an hour now or something in these stupid states. Yeah, so they have to jack the price up. I don't, what can you buy for five bucks a day? You can't even, can you get a gallon of gas? Uh, what is gas? Four bucks a gallon? Maybe you can get a gallon of gas. All right. All right, there you go. I'm thinking now, I'm actually sitting here going, what the heck? How things have gotten so bad, you can't even buy anything for five bucks. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What the hell can you buy for five bucks? A soda? Huh. All right, I'm going to go offline here and think about what the heck I can, maybe i make a video about what can you buy for five bucks, including tax? Oh, that's, that's a game changer, including tax. Sales tax, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm out. Have fun. Go mind. Let me know what you're doing.